My name is James Lynch, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you the best method I use right now for recording remote video interviews and get you that really high quality footage that you're looking for. And the best part about everything we're talking about here today is everything is absolutely free. Now, before we get into the step-by-step -step tutorial, I wanna talk about some of the alternatives because I know a lot of people like using something like Zoom, for example, but to me, Zoom has just the worst quality you can use. You have to download the software. There's a lot of complications to get Zoom to work. While it is free, I do think it's one of the worst ways you can record interviews these days, yet a lot of people use it because it's so popular. One of the other options that people recommend is StreamYard, and while you can get that 1080p quality, you do not get the 60 frames per second, AKA the quality you're seeing here right now, which is very crystal clear you're not going to get that on StreamYard. not to mention the fact you have to pay for a subscription to get rid of that little bird in the corner or to even broadcast in 1080p so i wanted to get that out of the way because i know a lot of people do like recording their interviews that way what we're going to use here today are two things obs studio version 30.0.2 and then you're also going to need to bookmark this website called video ninja and these two things combined are going to give you the best video quality possible once you've downloaded the latest version of OBS, your screen is going to look something like this. If you already know how to set up scenes in OBS, you can skip this part. Otherwise, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to get your OBS all set up. So what you're going to want to do first is create a new scene and you're just going to go new and I'm going to call this Lynch test. That's my last name. And we're going to go OK. And then what you're going to do is create a two separate scenes. Uh, this is how I like doing my interviews. So the first thing we're going to do is a split screen. And what we're going to do here first is we're going to go add source and we're gonna go video capture device. And so we're gonna go my, and I'll just call it my camera. So that's gonna be my webcam here. And you can see I'm coming up on screen right now, which is great. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this over to put me as part of the split screen. I'm gonna hold my alt button and I'm gonna make it cut the video out there. So we've got eh, just about, uh, so you got my screen here and then we're gonna add the guest screen here as well. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to go browser. Click browser here and you're just going to call this guest video. So once you go in there, uh, we'll set all this up after, but for now you're just going to see this OBS window, but that's fine. We can set that up anyways. So we're just going to make this full screen and let me just make this full screen there and you're going to make it look like that. So we'll come back to this a bit later, but I just want to get everything set up for you and your guests first in OBS. So that's our first scene. Our second scene is going to be the guest full screen. And we're just gonna again use that browser and we're gonna go add existing and that's gonna be our guest video. So our guest video is gonna be full screen and it's gonna look like this. Okay, and you'll, you'll see this will all make sense after we do this, but this is, this is the scenes as we have right now, my split screen and my guest full screen. Seems simple enough? Exactly, and also you'll notice it's fading. I actually prefer the cut method, so it goes a little bit faster. So I'm gonna change this over here to cut. So it goes boom, cut, 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 cut. All right, OBS is all set up. I want to start virtual camera here and you'll understand why you want to hit virtual camera before you open up your video link. So let's go to the video web page right now. All right, now we are on video ninja to get to the web page. You just go video dot ninja and you'll be here uh, right now. And again, this is absolutely free. I'm actually blown away that uh, you don't have to pay anything for this because it works uh, amazingly. And you can see some of the instructions here, but we'll ignore all this. The first thing you're, you're going to want to do is create a room here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to call the room and you want the room name to not just be like test or something generic because a bunch of people are creating room names. You don't want it to get messed up. So I'm going to call mine Lynch test room, uh, Lynch test room. We're, we're going to, we're going to go with that. And then we're not going to add a password. I just think it's easier if you don't add one and then uh, we'll see the guests can see the director. We're going to click that. And uh, there we go. So we're, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna go enter rooms, uh, rooms control center in the director's role. Cause you're gonna be the director of this uh, whole thing. So there we go. We are now in a different interface here, as you can see. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna um, send this link to your guests. So if you wanna bring someone on, this is the link you're gonna use right here. And you can keep this link for future reference and keep using the same room. So I just called this Lynch test room. What you wanna do is you wanna copy this link and you wanna send this uh, to your guest, and I'm going to show you here in this uh, in this notepad I have as I, I put in here link to send the guest What you're going to do is you're going to put that link in here You're going to put the and symbol Q equals zero I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you guys can see that a little bit better here You want to add this at the end so whatever link this is right here 
add and q equals zero at the end i'm not sure why but this seems to work the best if you're going to do it this way um this was something i read off reddit so you're going to want to use this exact link have a notepad out right now and make sure you write this link down so this is the link i'm going to send to my guests right now and you'll see shortly uh we're going to have a guest pop up in here in the chat shortly and then i'm going to show you the rest of the way i'm going to do this so as you can see here we got my man alf uh helping us out here today i got my uh, camera on a tripod in another room uh set up where you can see alf right now alf is uh, not much of a talk so you won't hear him say much here today. But one of the nice things about this interface here is you can actually control his audio and video settings here as well. So if you're talking to your guests, you can actually go in and edit the settings. How many times have you had a guest on and you're telling them to do something or change something with the settings and they can't figure it out? You can actually override that here with the video and audio settings here. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of like cool controls that you can have here. But anyways, that's basically how your guest comes in. And the way the guest is going to be able to see you in the Video Ninja interface is by enabling director's microphone and video. So we're going to do that right now here now you remember i hit that virtual camera on obs that's to show my screen to the guest so when i hit enable uh, director's video and camera you'll see that they're going to be seeing the obs screen and me on there as well now let's head back to obs so right now you're seeing alf is not showing up there what you're going to do is you'll see there's a copy solo video link here. We're gonna go back to our notepad and this is what we're gonna do. In the notepad here, I have a little uh, thing that says post an OBS. That's our guest's link. What you're gonna to wanna to do there is add this and bitrate equals 12,000. So that way you're gonna get the best video quality possible. Once we posted our guest link in here, bitrate 1200, we're gonna now put that in OBS. And this might seem a little complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually very easy to do. So we're gonna go back to OBS. We'll see it's still the OBS screen here. Guest video, we're gonna paste that link in there with the and bit rate equals 1200. We're gonna change the height and width to 1920 by 1080 because we want the best quality. And we also wanna click control audio via OBS. Let's say our guest is coming in too much. We wanna be able to control their audio as well. And we go okay. And you're gonna see that Alf is gonna show up here in just one second. Actually, Alf's already in, but it uh, looks like his uh, video is way off. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shrink Alf a little bit. We're gonna go like this to make Alf fit the screen. There we go. And you can add borders and other stuff here. So you can see it's me and Alf. We're both talking to each other, okay? So that's great. And then when you go to scene two, it's automatically gonna be added here because it already recognizes the source. And we're just gonna shrink Alf a little bit here so he fits the screen. And so because he's on just a vertical phone, uh, he's gonna be here. You can also turn your phone to make it full screen or the guest can, I should say, to fill up these black boxes. But right now, this is Alf's view from the phone right now. We're gonna click lock to lock the scene and we're gonna click lock here and lock there. And then all you do is you hit start record and you can go in between the scenes right now. So I can be talking to Alf and when Alf is talking, he can be talking back to me there. Super simple, super easy. Now, before we record our video, a couple quick things I wanted to mention. The first thing is you wanna make sure you know where your recording's going and which format it's in. You can change all this stuff here when you go to output and you go into recording. If you look here, recording path, you can set that. You can set the recording format. Most people use MP4, that's what YouTube likes, and the codec and everything else. So that's uh, where you can do all that. The other thing I wanted to mention is you gotta make sure you add an audio input capture. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, you can see my microphone is being picked up here, but you wanna make sure that um, you're getting your audio through as well. So you can check your audio levels here. Your guest audio levels will come through here as well. If for some reason you're not seeing guest audio levels, just make sure you hit this button there as well. You need to have your audio input capture on that guest full screen one as well too, because otherwise your audio won't show up on here. So just keep that in mind. You also have to add the audio input capture and have your microphone show up in here as well. One thing I did forget to mention earlier in this too. And one thing I prefer when it comes to recording my audio as well is having my audio on multiple tracks. So if you go here to advanced audio properties, here's how I like setting things up. So I like to have one track. We can actually get rid of the my camera one here because uh, we've already set up our audio input capture here. But what, what I like having is three separate separate audio tracks. So when I bring the file into my editing software, you'll see three separate audio tracks. The first audio track I like is me and my guests combined together. That way, if there's no issues with the audio and I can just upload the interview, it's good to go. The second one I like is having my audio and not my guest's audio as the second audio track. So that way, let's say my guest sneezes or something happens there, I'm able to just have my audio and isolate it and I can cut that part out of the guest. And then the third track would be 
the guests audio only um again same deal like let's say i do something or something i i like interrupt my guest and i didn't i didn't want that to get in his audio i have the option of my guests only tab so just to quickly recap here uh basically what you want is three separate audio tracks one with you and your guests combined one with just you and then one with your guest and then that way you're recording your video with three separate audio tracks it just gives you more customization when it comes to editing your video and having more options let's say in case there's any sort of things that happen during the recording process one last step i'm going to mention as well if you want to not have to keep creating rooms on video ninja each time if you want to just use this lynch test room each time or whatever name you've decided to create it what you're going to do is just take that link that you have that you send to the guest you're going to copy it here and you're going to put it up here and i just put this as control room and you're going to go and show director so let's say you want to keep using the same scene over and over again or the same interface for video ninja you just have to click here go uh, control room video thing and you're going to see we're already in the old screen so you say join room with camera and then there we go we're already going to join so that's another thing you can do instead of having to create rooms each time over and over again so that's pretty much it and just to quickly recap all you need is obs you need to open up video ninja you need to send the video ninja links to your guests you bring your guests into obs you record like i said i recommend recording multiple audio tracks for you and your guests that way you have more options when it comes to editing and it's that simple again you don't have to pay anything for this which is awesome and you're also getting the best quality you can possibly have as well and a lot more customizable options when it comes to doing your remote video interviews and i have timestamps in the description of this video also have links in the description also if you're wondering what camera i'm using and all that other different stuff that is also in the description of this video and if you have any other further questions just ask me in the comments i'm more than happy to help you out uh trust me it's taken me years to figure out the best ways of recording remote video interviews and i think right now this is the best one uh, as opposed to using something like skype which i still think works great but the problem with skype now is you, you know, you have to download the app and actually get it set up with this. You don't even need to download anything. The guests can just take that video link and open it on their phone and they're good to go. So that's why I prefer this the best. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Like I said, if there's any other questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. My name is James Lynch. If you like this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I do tutorials on this channel every now and then, but I'm mainly known for MMA coverage. Uh, my name is James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.